Okay, so um, I've already quickly introduced myself earlier, but um, I'll just quickly repeat it. Um, so I'm Irun. Um, I'm a developer for Wikimedia Germany, uh, currently working on the Wikidata project. Um, the Wikidata project is um, an effort to get um, similar functionality to sem semantic media onto Wikipedia. Um, so. Uh, I think it's interesting to have a look at how Semantic Media Wiki started um, in 2005. Marcus and Danny, the original authors of Semantic Media Wiki, um, were both working on Semantic Web stuff, and they figured it would be nice to poke a bit at uh, the amazing project that's Wikipedia. And um, then they came up with the idea to type links. And, um, well, they wrote an academic paper about this and went to Wikimania. Um, um, at that point, they figured that it would take like two or three weeks for one person to code it up um, <laughs> and have it then deployed onto Wikipedia. So now we're six years later, and um, although we have this great product that's Semantic Media Wiki, um, which is really useful in, uh, for a lot of people, um, it has, uh, well, there are certain issues with it. Um, in regard to having it actually deployed on Wikipedia, which we'll have a look at later on. Um, so I'm assuming that most people are familiar with Wikipedia, but just to be sure that we're on the same page of um, what exactly it is and what the goals of it are. Um, well, Wikipedia is um, a website managed by the Wikimedia Foundation, um, which has as goal um, to make all human knowledge available for free to everybody. Um, and yeah, um, Wikipedia is its biggest project, and it's getting about half a billion um, views per day, which is really a lot. It's, um, if I recall correctly, the fifth most visited website in the world. Um, and well. Um, we're doing a lot of effort to increase our reach uh, lately, um, especially in uh, mobile. Uh, the foundation now has its own mobile team working on mobile applications for platforms such as Android and iOS. Um, uh, we have partnerships um, with certain carriers to provide access to Wikipedia and associated projects for free to people in certain regions. Um, the Wikimedia Foundation uh, has a whole lot of projects, but we're only going to talk about uh, or yeah, look at two of them here. Um, who's familiar with Wikimedia Commons? Right, okay. So, as this says, it's um, one of the top two owners' websites, and it's basically a media, media repository. So, it holds images, it holds audio, it holds video. Uh, with many images, and um, they are all free to use. So they are freely licensed with stuff like uh, Creative Commons or just in the public domain. Um, what makes this special um, compared to the other foundation projects is that it's a common repository for all this media information, which then gets used on uh, Wikipedia and other projects. So um, there are um, about 250 or 280 different Wikipedias uh, for all different languages and they all just use the images here to not have all the images duplicated over all the Wikipedias, right? Because that would cause a lot of maintenance cost. Um, yeah. So uh, just some examples of the great images that are um, on Commons. Right, and I forgot to say this um, at the first slide. Um, these are actually not really my slides, I stole them from uh, Danny, um, mostly, so uh, credits go to him there. Right, and Wikipedia, well, you all know it, right? Um, and, um, so, as I already said, there are um, many different Wikipedias in different languages, and they all have um, a different community and um, articles about different things. Um, so, 
the English Wikipedia is quite big, and um, uh, there are some other languages that are also ha have a lot of articles and a lot of editors to maintain it. But for a lot of other languages, um, the amount of articles that are available is a lot smaller, right? So um, here we have some nice maps um, that show you the distribution of um, the, the articles that have um, geographical information attached to them. So. So as you can see, the, uh, a lot of languages are way smaller than the English one. And they all have their specific regions of, uh, well, uh, expertise. So, um, yeah, Wikipedia has all this wonderful information that this is basically just the FMW story, right, that you're all familiar with. Um, that you cannot get this information out of it without semantics, so you can't just do this, then you get a bunch of crap back. Um, on Wikipedia, since it doesn't have um, the abilities to create properties and stuff like that, um, just put everything into lists, um, which works to some degree, um, but the result is that you have lots of similar lists um, that sort of use the same data, right? And just slice it in a different way. Um, and the, the big downside of this is that it costs a lot of maintenance effort, which is not really needed because you could do this automatically, right? Um, yeah. And um, a big difference with uh, most wikis out there and Wikipedia is that Wikipedia has these all different language versions. So here you also have the additional overhead that um, on every language version uh, there is this one list, so it's duplicated everywhere. And they might not all have the same entries. Um, yeah, it's just, again, that much more maintenance effort. Um, um, to make sense of all the lists, we have lists of lists and list of lists of lists. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense, right? In different languages as well. So this leads certain people to think that Wikipedia doesn't have all the answers. So yeah. So um, the Wikidata project um, basically aims to be able to um, Enter, um, well, um, the, the setup we're proposing is uh, similar to commons, um, but instead of having a media repository, we'll have a common repository for data. So we'll have a um, wiki that um, is dedicated to just entering information about entities. Uh, and this information can then be pulled by the um, different language versions of Wikipedia. So we basically will just have one place where people will need to maintain the information. Um, and um, one thing you can see on this mockup, which is uh, the, the sources thing, is that um, we, we cannot, as a, in SMW, have um, statements that just tell the truth about something, because um, different sources can say, um, different things about a certain subject. For example, um, if you have an article about um, Berlin, um, then uh, different sources, uh, that the different surveys can have different population numbers, right? Um, you cannot just say this one is right. You can just say um, this source says that um, this value is that much, right? Um, so the goal here is not to state things, but just to um, what other um, sources say about data. And um, once we have all this data in this common wiki, um, we'll just be able to view it in all the different languages. Um, so, yeah. Well, can you go back? Uh, maybe not. Previous. Previous. <laughs> Yeah. 
Uh, so this is translated automatically uh, from city to start. Right. In English, it's the city of Berlin. This is start of Berlin, right? It's automatically translated. The date is in the data, uh, in wiki data already. Right. Um, yeah, I think I have a slide about this later on. Oh, um, okay. That sort of explains this, but... Um, Go ahead. <laughs> right. Sorry. Right. Um, so the goal here is to provide the database of the world's knowledge that anybody can edit and freely use and um, have for all the data references to where it's coming from. Um, this is um, different from DBpedia, which um, just extracts the information from Wikipedia um, and then publishes them in RDF, um, which is great. It shows the potential of um, machine-readable data. Um, but for Wikidata, um, we really aim to have a sustainable community around uh, the, the Wikidata wiki um, that um, creates and maintains the data. And this will then lower um, the maintenance costs um, of all the different uh, Wikipedia projects that use the data. And it will also vastly increase uh, the consistency of the data because uh, <coughs> Um, our goal um, as um, the people at the foundation working on this is really to provide the infrastructure and then let the community decide how they handle it. Um, right. Um, so this is um, the team at Wikimedia Germany, excluding me, um, working on this now. We're with um, seven or eight developers and some people um, to work with the community and manage the project. Um, the Wikidata project uh, is being sponsored or rather, um, well, we got donations from the, the Allen Institute, which is uh, half of our funding, and then both the Moore Foundation and Google uh, each uh, donated a quarter of our budget. So, um, it's a three-phase project. Um, it's scheduled to last about a year. Um, and the first phase is um, to tackle the problem of the language links. Um, I'm sure you all know the, the, the lists um, on Wikipedia that point to the equivalent articles in other languages, right? Uh, on the left-hand side of most articles. Um, and these lists are created by having uh, what's called interlanguage links um, inside the articles. Um, the bad thing about this is that um, every um, version of this article in different languages has the whole list, or you'd hope that they have the whole list. Um, so there is a lot of duplication here. And um, it, it's also sort of a hassle to add additional links or remove them because um, <coughs> if you just create a new article and you want to have it linked up to all the equivalent articles, then you need to insert the link and then add it everywhere else. Although people create tools such as bots that automatically uh, copy the link over to other locations, but then you run into problems such as um, if you remove a link, uh, well, if you add one and then um, find out that you added this as a mistake or something, and you want to remove it again, that the boss might just go and add it back, right? So, um, right. Um, we, we basically aim to, in uh, the first phase of the project, to create uh, an entity base on this Wikidata wiki, um, which will have a page um, per um, entity, and um, this page then holds information um, about where the equivalent articles are. Um, actually, the person that created this mockup got slightly confused. Um, where you see languages, it should actually just say site, because um, yeah, this points to different um, language Wikipedias. So um, English should basically uh, says English Wikipedia. Um, but this will not be restricted to Wikipedia alone. Um, we also are looking into um, linking to other projects such as Wiktionary, which is a, a dictionary project by the foundation. 
um, so we could just as well have uh, a link here to an article on the dictionary that's also in English. And um, later on, we also want to be able to point to things on uh, other websites. So for example, if you have an article about a movie, you should be able to point to IMDb or whatever, right? So um, once we're done with this, um, we'll be able to automatically generate these lists on Wikipedia. Uh, we'll have a kind of mechanism that makes it optional for people to opt into this so they can gradually migrate to this. And uh, in some cases, people might prefer to have uh, the old list uh, if, yeah, in, in special circumstances where they have um, yeah, relations that are not one-to-one. -one. Uh, yeah. So the second phase is um, to tackle the info boxes on Wikipedia. Um, yeah, it, it's basically very, uh, conceptually very similar to the interlanguage links. So um, getting rid of um, all this duplication of different language Wikipedias. Um, so we will have um, uh, very similar, well, um, on the Wikidata wiki, data wiki we'll, uh, on the pages representing the entities, we'll have an editing interface for all these properties that people can add them and refer uh, and uh, their sources, as you saw on the earlier um, mockup. And then the last phase is to actually enable inline queries uh, from Wikipedia. So um, this can be automatically generated. Um, and we're planning to have um, similar type of result formats as uh, Semantic Media Wiki has here, so you can create visualizations, um, which will also help a lot to make Wikipedia a lot more appealing, because right now there are some visualizations, um, but they are pretty sparse, and the reason for this is that they need to be manually maintained. So basically, they only get added if there is somebody that steps up and says, I will update this if the source data gets updated, so yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it will be very much like Wikipedia, but then for structured data, um, which everybody can use, and um, people will be able to build applications, many types of applications on top of this. So um, this is very great because um, it will greatly extend the reach um, and the effectiveness of the uh, free knowledge contained in Wikipedia and associated projects. Um, also, um, we've already mentioned gamification a lot on this conference. Um, the, ha having the data in structured format will uh, allow much more contribution size um, in the form of basically games built on top of it where people can just add some tiny bit of information, right? Or just choose between bits of information and then see, uh, and then have this data used to see if people agree on a certain value and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, both humans and bots will be able to work on this. We, uh, we'll have an API, um, by which people can create all the new things, um, which will also be used by um, Wikipedia itself to um, communicate with the Wikidata um, wiki. And it will be available in all these different languages. Um, so also the, the Wikidata wiki itself will have all kinds of different languages. Um, it will just be one wiki, but depending on the um, the language you choose um, as a user, you'll get um, the interface in a different language and also will get the data by default um, in the language you choose. So, um, I think the first point is not showing here. <laughs> um, so, a, a quick update on the <coughs> progress. Um, Right. 
Um, so the first point is support for arbitrary content types. Um, so basically what we're doing is um, on the, the Wikidata wiki which holds the information, um, we're extending MetaWiki itself to support um, content types different than wiki text. Um, so we're making it able to understand that instead of holding wiki text, the page actually holds a blob of JSON or some other format. Um, in, our, in our case, it will be a block of JSON, but um, you, you can imagine um, also putting in support for other formats such as Markdown or text or whatever, right? Um, and what this allows us to do is um, use MetaWiki's existing infrastructure to um, manage structured data and have all the existing interfaces such as um, having support for um, resolving added conflicts and uh, having a full revision history and all these kinds of things. Um, so what we're doing there at the moment is creating alternate editing interfaces, um, things to view more meaningful disk between the structured data. And uh, another thing we're currently working on is, um, well, so we'll have the canonical version of the data stored in MetaWiki's page table. Um, so these blocks of JSON will just be stored as articles are stored now, but of course to be able to um, to yeah f find things in here we need some kind of indexing. Uh, for example, if you want to know what the equivalent article uh, is on some other language Wikipedia, then we need to be able to find this and have some kind of index thing. So um, we, we're basically have a set of additional tables in uh, MySQL to find these kind of things. Um, we're also currently working on uh, the API uh, for this, so um, that the actual client wikis, which will be Wikipedia and other wikis, can communicate and um, update the data with local editing interfaces. And we also have um, some working UI already. Sadly enough, um, we don't have a public demo wiki yet, so I can't uh, really show you what's going on yet, although I have uh, a screenshot of um, last week or two weeks ago of the UI, which is very preliminary yet, but well. Yeah. <laughs> right, and um, we're Doing, uh, well, developing this um, very openly, so uh, we're using uh, Scrum as work methodology. Um, um, we have weekly status updates, which you can uh, find here, uh, which also have links to our Scrum logs, so you can really see what we're working on, uh, what we're planning to do. Um, so yeah. So how does Wikidata fit in with SMW. Um, I think I'm again missing my first point. Yeah. Okay. Um, although they are similar in a way, um, they, they solve different tasks. Um, it's definitely not like that once Wikidata is done, SMW will have no usage anymore. Um, they have really their separate usages. Um, if you have a single wiki, um, and you don't really care about having all the sources and things like that, then SMW might, uh, will probably make a lot more sense to you than Wikidata, because in the case of Wikidata, you will um, need to have set up where you have uh, this repository wiki and then have client wikis, right? Um, well, we're, we're also aiming at having um, a lot of overlap in the developer communities and maybe the user communities as well because um, we expect that uh, several components in uh, both projects will be very similar and can just be shared. So um, one example of this is uh, the result formats um, that might, be, might very well be reusable in the Wikidata project without too much work. Um, I think that Wikidata is actually uh, really great for SMW because um, as Jules mentioned in his previous talk, um, it would be nice to have more exposure of SMW and once Wikidata gets onto Wikipedia and people get familiar with this semantic thing, 
then a lot more people will really see the use, uh, well, the usefulness of it and want it for their own. Um, in this case, they probably will end up using SMW, right? So, yeah. Yes, this is the very first screenshot. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is actually just sort of debug output, but uh, yeah. So the so the previous screenshots you gave are like a pro proof of concept screenshot. They're not real. This is the first sort of a real proof. <coughs> yeah, these are uh, the mockups of in which direction we're going. Although the, the, the interface will end up with will of course be a lot more polished. And, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, actually, the the interface already looks a lot nicer, but since I can't show a demo or cannot hook up my own laptop, uh, yeah, I can't really show it. So. Yeah. Right. Uh, go back to the previous slide. Uh, it's a really interesting because I, I previously used uh, Georgia as the uh, as example as well because it refers to a country and a state in the U.S. Yeah. And the, 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 if you are creating the language link and uh, the two the two languages when they translate into Chinese, that would be two different uh, two different uh, uh, items page article in Chinese article uh, Chinese wiki. So how do you, is that handled or not? So you're saying that the Chinese um, yeah, Wikipedia so has two entries for this? Yeah, um, there will be two articles yes. related to uh, Georgia, right. the country, and the other one is for Georgia, the state. So oh, right, one. okay. Um, right, um, so th these are two different entities. And, um, on the, the repository wiki, they will be, well, just identified by unique IDs. Um, but what you will get to see is just the name and a description. So the thing you can see here, a Central Asian country, uh, is the description. And the combination of the, um, the label and description will be unique. And, um, well, the reason I'm so reading the question is like uh, when you bring the, the Georgia as a title, it seems to be a kind of a confusion part because a uh, regular wiki page, you have uh, this ambiguity page. So Georgia here is a unique identifier or just a title? What's the design here, basically? Um, it, it, it's just uh, a title <coughs> feature. It's just a title, so it's not an ID, right? In, in, in the media wiki, in the old media wiki, the title is the ID. Yeah. Um, but, oh, huh. Uh, okay. can see that um, well the, the interfaces will if you type something will show both the, the um, label and the description so you can figure out which one you're actually pointing to right I think we can we can have an offline discussion so the, I think Jesse was uh, you should answer Jesse's question in the sense okay can you repeat your question right so so this this one is the title or is this ID in, it's, in, it's, it's just title. So it's so a printed separate. presentation of a of a key, and two keys can map to the same printer presentation, <coughs> right? Uh, I, I guess the question is, how would you handle disambiguation if right. you've got two two entities with the same name? Right. So um, so this is just the title that shows up on the page. Um, what, what you really um, talking about, I guess, is uh, if you go to a certain URL and it has the, the, la the label in it, um, it's not unique, what you then get. Uh, indeed, we are planning to have a dis disambiguation page in this, in this case, which you can generate automatically very easily. Um, we're actually planning to have um, the entities on the repository wiki accessible via various URLs. Uh, we'll have a scheme where you can um, enter the, um, the title of an equivalent article on another site and an identifier of this site, uh, which will then give you the item. Um, and you'll also have a combination of language and label. Uh, and in the case of the data, um, you can indeed have the disambiguation page. 
So theoretically, if this is just a title, uh, we could have two pages that's not two pages, like t uh, two entities also called Berlin, right? Maybe one Berlin in the city of the, 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 the capital city of Germany, and another Berlin maybe a small town in the mm -hmm. US. South Dakota. Yeah, right. <laughs> and uh, that's possible. Yes, I mean, okay. yeah, you can see basically here you have, you have the same names, right? And we do the search on Berlin, you can see all the things with Berlin. And, uh, yes. Good. In your language. Yeah, in your language, right. Yeah, go ahead. I have a separate question. Um, are you <laughs> considering some kind of a query tool for more naive users? Because, I mean, I have a problem, I guess, where I work. I can't expose a sparkle on point. I mean, you know, they'll never go anywhere with that. Is this some kind of a graphical way, you know, or like auto completion or something where a naive user has some likelihood of succeeding with the query? Right. Um, I'm actually not sure what we're planning to do at all for um, how, how we're planning to have users answer queries in uh, Wikipedia. Is I don't any, know. Is there, some, is, there some, is there any tool for any semantic web query which is usable by naive users? Um, well, I'm not really familiar with uh, these kind of tools, so okay. I'm not that person to ask. Um, and yeah, I've not seen any mockups about this yet. Um, um, yeah, I guess we'll have a lot of discussion with the community how we'll best handle um, them being able to enter queries. Um, one thing here is that the queries they will be able to do um, will be a lot more restrictive than the ones um, that SMW allows, uh, which is actually one of the reasons that SMW is not really suited for usage on Wikipedia. It just allows doing things that are too expensive. Um, we want to keep it really simple. Um, but we, we really aim to have users not edit any special kind of wiki text or queries here. So we will have some kind of dedicated interface for them to enter the queries. Um, the, the same goes with um, just add, editing all the information, we'll have um, both these kinds of interfaces on the repository wiki, and um, on the client wikis, we'll also have uh, things where they can just, um, in the info, info boxes, click some kind of editing, which then turns it into editing mode, uh, so they can update the information, which then just gets sent to the repository wiki, right? Uh, yeah. Does it answer your question? Um, it tells me that there is no easy answer to the problem. Right, yeah. <laughs> or it, it, no one has well, any. Somebody of the team has already looked at this, but I'm not really looking yeah. at the UI that yeah. much. Yeah. Especially not of the, the phase three, because it's still um, more than half a year off, so. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so you said this will be available, the API. So how will you manage like all these startups that, like us maybe <laughs> harvesting information and maybe slamming your, your infrastructure? Right. Um, so uh -huh. we, we, we're planning to have some, probably some kind of spark on endpoint, but this will be restricted in some way. Um, much the same as the um, actual Wikipedia API is not unlimited, right? Um, what we will do is provide full dumps of the data as we're already doing with Wikipedia, so you can just set up your own thing. And what we also will probably be doing is um, providing um, some kind of um, system that notifies you of changes. So um, whenever a change gets made on the repository, we need to push it to the client wikis, and it will be very easy for us to have some kind of um, mechanism such as um, pubs of Book, um, or whatever that people can just subscribe and have it pushed. Uh, but yeah. Okay, maybe you can even do bit torrent things. <laughs> just bit <laughs> okay. Well. okay, very good. Thank you.